Angyal Shared League was a Hungarian inventor and scientist in the 19th century. He invented electric motor, dynamo and the soda water. So, soda is an invention of Fjerdik Ányos, and it originally was in glass bottle, but now it's in plastic bottle, and it's carbonated water, which is a base of many or of our drinks now, like French. He was a monk in the Benedictine order. Despite this, we aren't a religious school, because Jadik was a scientist, our school likes science subjects, and we even have a dedicated building for them. Hungarians have a tradition that in Easter, the boys sprinkle the girls. They in return give painted eggs and chocolate. We usually use colognes, but in some places people use soda water. Safer. It has three buildings, two regular and one counting her house. There is a dedicated part for sciences subjects. Duck is an abbreviation for student council. It's the last day of the year. We organize and plan the whole week, and we can choose from certain creative programs. There are interactive programs, or we can watch presentations about our school. There is gastronomical competition, and we can also try out a variety of sports. We have a Yadlik, a Yadlik week once a week, once a year. At the end of the week, we have a day, the same as in the dog day. Mm. Then we are participating in different types of programs. At us, Halloween plays a simple rule and looks just the same as, as the other countries or schools. is afraid of leaving our classmates and the eight years we spent together behind. We feel a lot of pressure coming from our parents and our teachers to go to universities and that's why we are stressed. I 
like other Hungarian schools, arts took the online education extremely serious. During the online school, we couldn't get up. Li- we could get up later because we didn't have to travel to the school. We didn't have music or art lessons, and only the girls had PE lessons, but just once a week. Our lessons were 40 minutes long. We wrote a lot of tests and we did oral presentations. The online education was a, as difficult and stressful as the normal one. It was hard and tiring of gazing the screen all day long. In addition, we couldn't meet our friends and classmates. Most of the teachers lost their motivation because it was entirely monotonous. We felt as tired all the time. After a while, it was more and more difficult to get up and sit in front of the computer. Our remarks didn't show the reality and we were afraid that our teachers would like to give us a lot of tests and we will ruin our marks when we come back. Some of us enjoyed the online school. Personally, I think it was better that we had more spare time. Everyone is exhausted, not physically, but mentally. Nevertheless, it was great that we could sleep more. A few of us couldn't go to training, so they lost even more motivation. Our lives became very boring because we didn't have any new challenges that bring difference. Usually we got a huge amount of homework and we didn't have energy and capacity to make it. Our concentration became worse and worse at the time we spent in quarantine. we should choose one to three subjects that we want to do as facultation. In one subject, you have one or two double lessons per week, depends on which subject you choose. Personally, it's important for us, as we don't have any extra lessons, so we don't learn any subject on higher level. Learning subject on higher level is necessary to get into colleges and universities. This way, we can learn earlier some of the hardest parts of the subject. In our family, nobody has graduated from college, so there is no pressure. But we want to go because it will be useful or even needed later for our jobs. The popular facultation are maths, literature and grammar because they are the basic facts and informatics because computers will always be important in our lives. I think to be more successful, you need at least a college diploma because most of the people have only have a secondary school qualification. The jobs that we are working for have high salary or end physically exhausting and we enjoy them. future. For example, uh, we make our driving license, language exams, final exams before final year and we have to choose a class to learn it in higher level and in more times a week. So we want to uh, show the world our best and that's so uh, frustrating. It's some kind of maximalism because I think we need more points to get in a good college or get a scholarship. So yeah, we are worried about our future. Uh, personally, I think we are under pressure, but we have to get through more to earn more.